Hello YouTube, this is Revan Evan Sackett here. You know, <clears throat> I'm pretty angry right now, and you know why that is? Because some idiot, I just found this out about a month ago, burned down the Barker Ranch. Now, for those of you who do not know, the Barker Ranch is the last known home of the Manson family. Before the Barker Ranch, the Manson family lived in what we know as the Spawn Ranch. Now, what the Spawn Ranch originally was, was, um... In 1968, uh, a man named George Spawn owned the Spawn Ranch, which was actually an old movie set where uh, westerns were filmed in the 1940s. And um, Charles Manson told Squeaky Fromm to uh, perform sexual favors on George Spawn in exchange for him letting them live at the Spawn Ranch. Well, he did so, and they lived at the ranch for a relatively short period of time. Whenever we see movies and read books about Manson, they always refer to the Spawn Ranch, but they spent a lot, most of their time at Barker Ranch. Now, right before they were arrested, they went to Barker Ranch. Now, the deal with Barker Ranch was um, there was a woman named Barker that owned this ranch. Now, this ranch is located right in the middle of the Death Valley National Forest, or park. It's not a forest. But... It's located out in the middle of nowhere. It's almost impossible to get to. You have to walk to it, pretty much. But somehow, the Manson family managed to get a bus out there. But anyway, Manson had um, a gold album that was given to him by the Beach Boys. He traded it to Miss Barker in exchange for her ranch, or letting them use her ranch. They stayed at the ranch for a brief period of time, and then they were arrested. Now, the ranch had remained just as it was with the original stove, refrigerator, everything in it, up until recently. I mean, you could walk into it, you could just walk in, lounge around, visit it, do whatever you wanted to do, basically. But um, here recently, I don't know if it was purpose or if it was an accident, but some idiot burned the fucking place down. So now it's gone. Well, it's not completely gone. I mean, the structure is still there, but it's mainly destroyed. But I had wanted to visit this place so bad because I'm obsessed with pieces of untouched history. I wanted to go see if I could be a part of this Manson thing. Because there's nothing left of the Manson era. The Sharon Tate house was uh, tore down in 1994. Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails was the last known tenant who lived in the house. And it was a beautiful house. I, if I had the money, I'd love to live in that house. Not because it was the site of a brutal murder, but because it's a beautiful house, or it was a beautiful house, and it got replaced by a more modern structure, and it just, it angers me that that happened. But, um, I mean, uh, you have the La Bianca house, which still stands today, but it's been highly remodeled, it just doesn't look the same as it did, but out of all the structures that are related to the Manson family, that's the only structure still standing. Um, Spawn Ranch burned to the ground in 1970 after the Manson family was put in jail. Um, I don't know how it happened. I mean, all, there were separate buildings. I don't see how a fire could just wipe out every last trace of the fucking place, but it did. And um, the Barker Ranch was the only thing left still standing that was a past remnant of the Manson family. And I'm obsessed with the 1960s. I'm obsessed with that counterculture. And I wanted more than anything to go visit this ranch and see it. And I can still do that, but, I mean, there's just not going to be much to see because, obviously, the place has burned to the ground. So that, I mean, that really angers me <laughs> that that happened. But anyway, um, I was trying to find some other locations that the Manson family had lived at, any locations, anything, and um, on the Internet I did come across one house, the house of Gary Hinman, where the uh, Manson family... Um, obviously murdered Gary Hinman, and this would be an interesting place to visit if it were still, still standing, which I believe it is. And, I mean, you can still go and visit all these old locations, but, I mean, what was there is gone. And, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's heartbreaking, you know, to me, because I, it's almost like I want to stop time, and I want to go back and relive history. I want to be a part of it, because it's, it's, it's a very interesting thing. But unfortunately, it's gone. So I guess all we can do is not dwell on the past and just try to move on. But if any of you are interested in visiting the Barker Ranch, it's located in Death Valley. You'll probably need a four-wheel drive truck just to get close to it, and you'll have to walk the rest of the way. 
but maybe we can find other structures that once belonged to the Manson family and go investigate those.